I'm going to show you how to use Display Driver Uninstaller so that when you switch platforms from say NVIDIA to AMD, you don't have any driver complications. Here we go. So before we dive in, why might you want to make sure that you've got all of your old drivers for your graphics card removed if you're switching platforms? It's a good question. First off, let's just say that you simply have in this situation an, an NVIDIA card installed and you want to just slap in the AMD card and install the drivers. In theory, it could work, and I suppose there are some people that don't have any problems by removing the previous drivers. However, there are case after case documented where people will get blue screens, they'll get black screens, they just don't get any screen, screen, uh, screen at all. Or if they get in there, they can't change the resolution, just things get all wonky. And the reason why is you've got your, basically your system software trying to tell the graphics card or the, I guess the platform, what it's using and it just doesn't know what to do. You can have driver conflicts and that's nothing new. It's been around since Windows has uh, been developed, I suppose, is this lovely thing called uh, driver conflict. What Display Driver Uninstaller does is it completely and cleanly removes um, your previous graphics driver uh, within the safe boot mode as preferred. I mean, you can do it while in the actual full um, driver enabled Windows desktop. However, it's best to do it from the safe boot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to uh, do so. We're gonna download it uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and dive on in right now. Let's go. All right, before we do anything, we are going to download a display driver uninstaller and save that as well as our AMD drivers. Now, we're gonna to go to wagnerdsoft.com directly. That's those who create the DDU. And I'm gonna click on versions 18.0.2.2. Um, It'll take me directly to where the download is. Now, before I do so, I wanna click on here. This has got a quick guide that you can read. Um, and that's basically what I'm condensing right now. And in here are where your default drivers are gonna be for your graphics card, which I suggest doing right away. And in this situation, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the 5600 XT drivers that I want. It's gonna bring me right to the page I want. I'm gonna do the Windows 10 64 bit edition, and I've already downloaded it, but I would go ahead and download it and save it. I'm running the 20, uh, the 2020 20.2.1 optional edition um, worked great. And then I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna go back to Wagner Soft and download the DDU right here from the official download. Now, I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again, but save it to your downloads file or to your desktop, whichever you prefer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of these and go into my downloads file or folder, I should say. And you'll be able to see in here that I've got my adrenaline software as well as DDU. Now, I've already done this portion, but what you would do is you'd open this up and save this as extracted wherever you want. Now, I went ahead and I extracted it to my desktop so it's easy for me to find. So I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna go here and open up the DDU uninstaller. And it's gonna give you a couple of prompts here. I'm gonna close this back on stuff. And it's gonna say, I'm detected that I'm not in safe mode, which it always recommends that you run this thing in safe mode. So before I go ahead and run this thing at all, I am going to uh, go ahead and disable my internet. Now, why you want to disable your internet is because when you plug in your new card, Windows is gonna look for uh, the drivers to install uh, generically and just install them. And in this situation, I want to control it. So. To reboot to safe mode, all you do is this. You go down to your start menu, click on the power button, and you hold down shift, and then click on restart, which is what we're going to go ahead and do right now. And this is going to bring us to our boot menu here, which is how we will get to where we need to be. So I'm going to click on troubleshoot because I don't know, that's the area that they put this thing. Advanced options, and then we're gonna figure out how we want to start up, okay? So pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and click my startup settings, and it's gonna give me my options for safe mode after I hit restart here, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, here we are to our startup settings menu. And what I want to do is I just want to enable safe mode, pretty simple, so I'm gonna select option four or number four on the keyboard. 
And now I am into uh, safe mode. And I already know that I'm not connected to the internet. I don't want to be right now. So we will fix that uh, after we've got the drivers installed and uninstalled first. So again, we're going back to display driver uninstaller. And I'm going to apologize for having to switch my cameras for viewing this. I don't have a capture card as of yet, so I'm using this via my camera for recording. Um, so this is pretty simple. Simple. We're going to go ahead and select uh, the GPU. And I currently have NVIDIA installed. That's pretty simple, right? If I had AMD installed, I'd select that. And if you had an Intel installed, I guess you could go with that, but not necessary, right? All right, so I have that set. And what I want to do is figure out which way I want to go. Now, I want to do a clean and restart, okay? So it's real straightforward. And it's quick, too. I mean, this doesn't take forever. So it's going through, and it is um, removing the drivers and all appropriate folders and experience and all that fun stuff. Yes, 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 I know. And it is now finished this, and now we're going to go ahead and restart. Again, my internet is not connected so that Windows does not immediately search for my driver and then uh, install my graphics driver. And actually, what I should have done was just install and shut down so that I can just install my uh, new uh, card. So actually, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut down right now. I'm not concerned about the rest of the stuff. And we are going to install the new card. Okay, here we are back at the desktop and now everything looks all wonky because it doesn't have a display driver installed. And again, I'm not connected to the internet still. And I did this because we want to control that uh, driver installation. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go to our um, downloads folder where I have my AMD Radiant software ready for me to install. And it's pretty straightforward, you know, it's telling me that I can't reach certain things, yada, yada, yada. And that's fine. I, I don't want it to get to everything. What I want it to do is I want to install the new driver and then I'm going to activate the internet. So let's go ahead and run through and get this all done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install Radeon software. Oh, look at that. Things are starting to look normal again. I don't allow him to collect anonymous usage information. I can't stand that, but I'm going to go ahead and launch the Radeon software. And I'm going to re-enable my internet. And voila, we've installed Radeon. Now we can go ahead and run some benchmarks and I can show that everything's gonna work. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video with why we did this. So I wanna point out that this is recognizing the driver of the AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT. It does show my driver. I shouldn't say the driver, it shows my card. And then there's my driver, the Adrenaline 2020 20.2.1. And it shows my base clock and stuff. Now, this is before I do the BIOS update, or the BIOS flash for this card, which I am going to do. And um, we're going to get on to some benchmarks in the next video. This is just meant to show you how to do the display driver uninstaller uh, and how this removes the previous brand's driver cleanly. And that's that. I mean, it's very simple to do. I know it seems scary because uh, I think people think that something might go wrong, it might screw something up, but it really, it doesn't. As long as you just follow the simple steps and their uh, instructions on their website are very easy to follow. 
If anything, you can cause more problems by not cleaning off the old drivers before installing the new ones. And, and again, it was real simple to do. So hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, please hit that uh, like button for me. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Hit the subscribe button for me as it really does help this channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.